Yo, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock all the Midas rewards in the new Midas event. These rewards are going to be three in total. We have this one right here, the glider, which is called Queen in Gold Glider, a masterpiece in Marigold. Looks absolutely dope. It's based uh, based on uh, the Marigold NPC. And of course, the second reward was the uh, Rose of Avarice Backblink. Let me just uh, show you that. Let me just go here. It should be right over here as my, uh, latest, my latest unlock. Let's go to Recent. So this is what it's going to look like, the Rose of Avarice Backlink, it's pretty awesome. And of course then the, we have the uh, the spray which is the uh, the Cerberus Medallion spray if I'm not mistaken. Let's go right here, go to Recent again. There it is right here, so this is it, the Cerberus Medallion. So to unlock all of these rewards you need to complete all the Midas quests so far, It's I think it's 16 in total if I'm not mistaken, I could be <laughs> I could be wrong, but in this video I'm going to include all of them and you're going to be able to unlock just like I did all the rewards for the Midas event, which is this right here as you can see, so if you go right here to Rise of Midas, all the rewards have been completed, so you need to complete 18 in total, not 16, so I'll include all of them in the video, I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, you know, drop a like if you like the video, and yeah that's it, enjoy! For this Midas quest, since you have to collect bars, you need to collect 200 at first, and you basically just you can find bars literally everywhere either from opening chests or defeating enemies so these are the gold bars as you can see this is what they look like you can also go to the uh, midas yacht right over here it's going to be full of gold bars on top of the boat and inside the vault so you can go ahead and do that or of course you can eliminate enemies so we have i hear a bot shooting here there it is nice i got him i even had the medallion so as you can see there's the gold right there i'm gonna grab his medallion and we're gonna grab this. So yeah, that's the basic idea, guys. Just keep collecting gold over and over again, and that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, essentially you have to investigate Midas Jane Cell. So basically, you just need to make your way to the Underworld PUI. And inside of it, you're gonna actually find the Jane Cell that they held Midas in. And it's gonna be underground, like under the Underworld. So we're gonna go ahead through the main door right here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get there. I already, like, made a video on it once. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm just uh, gonna show you again. So we're just gonna go ahead all the way through the main entrance Ooh, that's a lot of pings and there should be stairs here there we go and more stairs this way so this is the jail cell as you can see i'm just gonna investigate the jail door i'm gonna investigate the reboot card and we're gonna investigate the come on the cuffs i think that's all of it yeah there we go so again this is the jail cell i'm just gonna ping to you the exact location is gonna be right over here but just follow the same path that I showed you, investigate all of these three elements, and that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, right after we investigated the jail cell, we're gonna have to cooperate with Mary Gold on Midas escape. So she's gonna be right over here, and this is the jail cell by the way, right here. And we're gonna go ahead and talk to, uh, I assume, we're gonna talk to the, uh, the thingy over there, so let's go ahead. I don't have any real mobility or weapon, so hopefully, ooh. Okay, we got people fighting over here. Just ignore that. Okay, let me just grab this. And hop. Alright. I'm trying to find one of those like corrupted uh, waters to get the dash. But so far, I didn't get <laughs> like I didn't get lucky. But yeah, no problem. 200 meters worth a shot. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. We found a car. So this is where we're gonna go to corroborate the story. Stop, corroborate and listen. Here we go. Oh, I guess it's the uh, Oracle thingy. Yeah, the scrying pool. So let's continue. Who would you like to contact? It looks like Midas escaped. He's always been clever, sometimes too clever. Oh, that's Marigold, oh, that's nice. So we got some questions. We got, he escaped through a hidden tunnel, let's say. No, I don't think that's it. Take another look at the cell. Uh, he somehow lifted out a guard and sh and shackled one of his hands. Yeah, I think that's it. And he turned them to gold. Okay, I see. So the guard unshackled one of his hands, and Midas turned the guard itself into gold, which we see in the loading screen, by the way, guys. And yeah, which means his curse is I don't know. <laughs> I missed that. Interesting. Then what happened? He slipped and another little rift. Take another look. Nah, nah, nah. You helped him escape. Me? No, I arrived there. I heard he turned. Turn, look again. He used his free hand to turn the other shackles to gold. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to make the story. So I think I know how to uh, how to do this. He shoved open the cell door. He transformed into a bat. Zeus broke him out. He shoved open the cell door. Yeah, there we go. So he literally walked out of the underworld free at last. 
That's nice. Now we know how to uh, how those chains of Hades interact with the Golden Touch. That will be useful, I'm sure. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the end of the uh, mini storyline that we got, which is nice. I really, really like that. Beautiful. For this Midas quest, since you have to damage players with Chains of Hades or a Harbinger SMG. So these are the uh, Chains of Hades right here. I just found some of them. So basically you can find these literally everywhere. I just found them in the Marigold uh, boat. And we're gonna go ahead and find ourselves an opponent. And we're gonna go and say hello to them using these Chains. These Chains deal uh, 40 damage at first, then another 40. And the third hit is gonna deal 70 damage. So somebody is fighting out here. Hopefully they don't die. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was epic. That was absolutely epic, dude. And this actually is the Harbinger SMG as well. So you can either do with the, uh, do the, um, the quest with the SMG. Or, of course, the uh, Chains of Hades. Let me just see how much did we progress the what, thing. It's only 30 damage, so it's going to take uh, a while to do. You can also do this in Team Rumble mode. Because you can keep like finding players over and over again and just keep dealing damage to them over and over again as much as you want. Uh, but yeah, this is basically idea, just deal seven, uh, uh, 750 damage in total and that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, it says you have to hit an Olympian boss with Chains of Hades. Now you can find Chains of Hades literally everywhere. So we, since we already found one, you can go to, uh, we'll go to the underground right here. And we're gonna just start fighting the Olympian boss. We have people fighting with the, uh, with the Chains of Hades already. Here we go. Let's challenge them. Nice. And now we're gonna hide. Come on, can I fight Hades or not? Ooh. I think he's already down. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And there it is. And now we're gonna bounce. We only needed to hit him once. We don't need to finish the finish off the boss. And I don't want to die to zone. So let's go over here. So let me just check the quest. Yeah, there we go. Hit an Olympian boss with Chains of Hades completed. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that. And that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, it says you have to scan the Marigold for recalling devices. So all you gotta do is just make your way to the yacht, which is gonna be located right over here, west of the map, west of uh, Grim Gate, as you can see. And you're gonna find yourself this giant boat, uh, on which you're gonna find also the uh, Midas NPC, the Ascendant Midas. So there he is right there. And we're gonna come here just to scan uh, the yacht itself. So the recording device should be at the back right here. Let me just grab all of this stuff. Here we go. I just want some uh, some shields. All right. So we're gonna go down and gonna go through the gate. Here we go. I'm gonna take these stairs on the back. Here we go. Keep going even further down. And here it is, right here. So it's gonna be right in front of the vault, as you can see. So let me just take a screenshot of this for the thumbnail. I'm just going to interact with it. And there we go. As you can see, that's the recording device. All you got to do is just interact with it. And that should be the quest. It's as simple as this. For this Midas quest, it says you have to purchase from Midas vending machines or service stations. So you can find these literally everywhere. There's a lot of them in, uh, in, uh, inside of uh, the yacht. So if you go to the yacht, you'll find these service stations or the uh, vending machines. So this is the yacht location right over here west of the map as you can see and you simply just interact with it and as you can see you can buy a bunch of stuff you can just keep buying over and over again so for example i'm gonna uh, activate the rift there we go as you can see it's gonna count as one out of three i'm gonna see if i can spam it again if i can here we go i'm gonna land here again yeah you can just keep spamming it like this is like the best way to do it in my opinion you're gonna need uh, 900 gold in total but it should be easy because the Midas yacht is actually full of gold. Oh, actually, let me just wait for this to expire. So you can just, you'll find a lot of gold bars here and you can find the vault inside. And you can just farm gold from there. There we go. And as you can see, it was instantly completed in one location. So I highly recommend you do this here. And that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, it says you have to hire specialists in different matches. You need to hire one specialist in three different match. So the first specialist we're gonna, uh, we're gonna hire is gonna be Mina, which is gonna be this NPC. By the way, specialists are a special type of NPCs that give you like either uh, heal or ammo or stuff like that. They kind of like follow you around. Okay, this one is contested, so we're gonna ignore that. 
I'm not gonna die on my first take. <laughs> and yeah, there are more specials, of course. There's another one right over here. It's gonna be the Artemis NPC, Artemis Goddess of the Hunt. So here we go. It's gonna be in front of Lavish Lair. I don't feel so good having zero weapons, but you know, we're just gonna leg it. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Like I said, it's gonna be at the front gate. There are a bunch of these specials, by the way, so I'm gonna ping like three locations for you guys. It's gonna be the first location is gonna be here, second location is gonna be here, and there's also the Poseidon uh, uh, NPC, if I'm not mistaken, it's also a specialist. So you can just land every game in any of those locations and just uh, like hire one of the NPCs. And also remember, hiring NPCs is kind of troublesome because they follow you around and they kind of like reveal your location. And of course, uh, it's contested. It's always contested. So those are the things that you need to be wary of. So there's the Artemis NPC right there. Hey there. Ooh. Sorry to disturb you. And as you can see, you can hire them. And it also costs gold, by the way. You need 250 gold. So in total, you need 750 gold to hire all three NPCs. And yeah, as you can see, there you go. Just, just hire them. Ooh. <laughs> so like I said, it is always contested. People are going to try to stop you. And yeah, that's basically it. Just do that in three different matches. And that should complete the quest. For this Midas quest, so you have to confront Brutus. So in case you didn't know, Brutus is actually an actual NPC that exists in the uh, Pleasant Piazza location. So if we're going to go to that PUI right here. So let me just ping it on the map for you guys. It's going to be right over here. And in the middle, the uh, Brutus NPC should be there. And we're just going to go ahead and confront them. We got people fighting left and right. Here we go. So this is Brutus. Doing a little dance. Hey there, buddy. So let's confront them. So I heard you've been sniffing around. Good. I'm glad the boss has another person watching his back. Those bags, all the, those are hopes uh, from when the Marigold was society's boat. And I'll get them back to her. Okay. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to going back to being number two. Okay. I love this crew, but managing a bunch of big personalities is a lot of stress. And yeah, I guess that's that's it. <laughs> so Brutus does not seem to be the traitor, which is awesome. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. For this Midas quest, it says you have to damage opponents while under the effect of the River of Sticks. So if you didn't know, the River of Sticks uh, signifies the corrupted river that we now have in this new season, which is basically this green river that goes from Restored Reels all the way to the Underworld. And basically when you step into the river, you will get three skulls on your back, which signify three dashes, and those dashes expire. So to get the effect, all you have to do is just step into the water, and I think it says damage uh, opponents or players. Let me see. Okay, opponents. Meaning that it should work if we do it on the walls or any of the bosses. So let me just grab a weapon here. Just gonna grab this, like SMG here. Let's get some, some shields really fast. Here we go. We'll grab this weapon over here. All right. All right, we're all loaded up. And now we're gonna get the effect, as you can see. Make sure you don't use the dashes. And then we're just gonna deal damage. That should count. Let me just go here. Yeah, there we go. That's 158 out of 300. You need to deal 300 damage in total. It also should count with the with the bosses. So we're gonna try it on the wolves here. Let me just summon them. We also have the river here, like uh, the green water, which is good. Here we go. Come on, come on. Should get one more, uh, like that. One more, like, uh, wolf. And then we're gonna fight the boss himself. There we go. Alright, that's right. If I deal damage to him. There we go, it does work, see? So there it is, just all you have to do, just do that. And shoot with the quest. For this Midas quest, it says you have to hit structures at Grimgate to collect a jar of essence. So... We're simply just gonna make our way to Grim Gate, which is this PUI right over here. I'm just gonna uh, deal damage to any structure. Uh, let's choose this one, for example. Just gonna do this, big exit. There we go, nice. Okay, so this is the uh, the Jar of Essence. Uh, this took a while to uh, to show up, by the way, guys. I had to pickaxe there, here, and over here to get it. So it's gonna take some time to get it. Uh, but this is what it's gonna look like. Let me just take a screenshot of this. Ooh. Oh, it disappears. So that's why it, it doesn't show up. Okay, let me see. Let me see how long it's gonna take to make it show up again. I was gonna take a screenshot of it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it doesn't really take that much. We just make sure that to collect it whenever it shows up. I'm just gonna collect that. And there it is. That's the quest completed. Beautiful.
For this Midas quest, you have to deliver the Jar of Essence of two jewels. So we just collected the Jar of Essence by hitting structures at Grim Gate, And now we're going to make our way to Jewels, which is going to be located at this gas station right there. So let's go ahead. Thankfully, we have the, um, the Cerberus Medallion, which allows us to dash indefinitely. Come on, come on, come on. Hop. So this should be relatively fast. Hop. And hop. We'll just follow the river since it's much easier. We'll take the zip line, go up. Here we are. This is like stage three. This is the last stage of these uh, like uh, new jewels quests for Midas. In case you didn't know, Jules is part of the Midas crew from the previous seasons. I think it was season uh, season uh, chapter two, season two. I think. Here we go. So this is Jules. I'm just gonna simply give her the uh, the jar. I think I can create gauntlets for my dad that can suppress his golden touch. Ooh, I like that. Once he can take off whenever he wants, this could change everything. If this works, thank you. I'm going to get to work. Nice, beautiful. So that's all you have to do. For this Midas quest, so you have to mod three weapons, meaning that you need to go to one of these mod bunkers, which are, which show up right here. They're called they're called weapons bunkers, but they have mod benches inside of them. So once you see those uh, appear on the map, they appear once the second storm circle closes in. That's when they show up. And once they show up, you basically just make your way to one of them. This is one, for example, as you can see. Make sure you have a weapon that can be modded, by the way. And inside, you're going to find this uh, mod bench right here. And you're just going to basically mod all, the, all of your weapons. Also, make sure you have at least uh, at least like a few hundred gold. So I'm going to mod this weapon by giving it literally everything I can. There we go. That should count. Yeah, there it is. So that's the quest completed. Let me just check. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's the basic idea, guys. Just do this and that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, so you have to eliminate players with fully modded weapons. Now you have two options, either get yourself one of the mythic weapons from the bosses. So for example, we're going to get the mythic weapon from this boss right here, the Cerberus boss. There we go. Come on dude, just die. I'm going to reload this. Oh, Mario ammo. There we go. All right, so any mythic weapon that we get, as you can see, will have a fully modded uh, weapon. So it has all the mods. And I'm just going to grab that. So this is it right here. As you can see, it has all the mods. And you basically just go around and look for players and just uh, like uh, deal damage or eliminate. Let me see. Eliminate. So you need to eliminate five players using this weapon right here. You have the choices between uh, this, that weapon or, of course, you can get from uh, the, the Hades boss if you defeat them. Uh, ooh, we have We have somebody here. I see him. I want to see if he's a real player or not because sometimes real players uh, pretend to be bots. He should drop down if he, if he sees me healing. Here we go. And there it is. That should be one out of five. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, like I said, it works if you use these uh, modded weapons. You can get them from Grim Gate, the Underworld, uh, Mount Olympus, or uh, Brawler's Battleground. Or, of course, you can just wait for a weapons bunker to show up. It shows up in the uh, after the second storm circle closes in. As you can see, it says storm 1 out of 12. Once the second circle uh, closes in, you'll be able to see uh, the uh, weapon bunkers on the map. There are some all around. And you just simply go there and just mod yourself any normal weapon that you have. And, yeah, just do that. Eliminate five people in total. And that should be the quest. For this Midas quest, it says you have to consume a banana of the gods. So this is what a banana of the gods looks like. And apparently you can find these like 99% of the time inside of these like uh, god chests. And god chests spawn either around the underworld, right around here, or at uh, Mount Olympus. So I'm going to show you two more spots where you can find the god chest. You can find a god chest right here. And you can find another god chest right underneath this cliff right over here. And another god chest right around this area right here. And one more right here. So there's five in total. And inside the underworld, of course, there's more. But yeah, just keep opening these until you find yourself one of these bananas. It's called Banana of the Gods. It just gives you like uh, HP uh, like and jump boost and speed boost. So we just have to consume it. Let's go ahead and consume it. And there it is. <laughs> As you can see, the quest has been completed. Beautiful. 
For this Midas quest, you should have to damage players with Midas' drum gun or drum guns. So you can either find a normal drum gun, like randomly from opening chests, or you can do the smart thing and just bring 600 gold and come to the yacht right here. Because on the yacht you are gonna find Midas himself and you can be able to buy Midas' drum gun from him. So he's gonna be on top of the yacht right here. This dude I think knows exactly... And he's using this thingy, so let me just grab a weapon here. Otherwise it's gonna be a problem. We got an SMG. We'll work with that. I'll take this. I do want the Midas drum gun first before I deal damage. Alright. So this is uh, Shade Midas, apparently. And we can... Oh my god, man. He bought it. He bought it. I think he has it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the Midas drum gun, as you can see. Again, it's 600 gold, so it's pretty expensive. And make sure you have enough ammo. So once you do that, all you gotta do is just start looking for players and just dealing damage with it to them. Here we go. We got somebody. Let's go say hello. Nice, man. It even has it even has like a scope, which is awesome. So as you can see, this is it right here. Let me just ping it for you. So uh, like I said, this is like the uh, the damage. You need 750 damage in total to complete the quest. So yeah, like I said, again, highly recommend you drop right here. Get the Mythic Midas drum gun because you can deal damage really, really fast. And this does not work on NPCs, by the way. So you have to do it on actual players. Uh, but yeah, just do that and the truth complete the quest. For this Midas quest, since you have to place top 50 players without uh, consuming healing items. So as you can see right now, it is top uh, 43. There's 43 players left. And uh, the quest has already completed for me because uh, throughout the game, I didn't use a single healing item. So I didn't use any medkits. I didn't use any bandages. All I did was just, you know, uh, take like some shield potions. But yeah, that's like, that's that's all I did. And yeah, this is the simple idea. Just, you know, uh, land in a game. Just make sure you don't heal yourself for any amount. And once you hit top 50, you will automatically complete the quest just like I did. It's literally as simple as that. For this Midas quest, it says you have to eliminate an opponent within 10 seconds of collecting bars. So this is a little bit tough to do because you need to kind of camp a place where there are bars. I highly recommend uh, going right here, landing at the Midas yacht because it has a lot of like gold bars on top of the yacht. All you gotta do is just pickaxe it and just grab the gold. And of course, don't uh, like make sure you don't grab the gold unless you see somebody that you can eliminate. So we're gonna go here. I'm pretty sure I was, uh, somebody, somebody was running away here. Here we go, I see somebody. He's all the way over there. So let's go say hello. So first we're gonna collect the bars right here from these golden eggs. And then we're gonna go say hello to this dude. Let's follow him. Okay, I need to collect bars again. Just reload. I see you, I see you, I see you. I need more bars, more bars. Come on, come on. Where's the egg? I saw the egg here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, these are the eggs. Again, you only have 10 seconds from the moment you collect the bar. And then you gotta go ahead and eliminate the, the player. He's inside here. God, dude, this guy. And someone is sniping, dude. Okay, let me reload everything. I'm gonna kill him, dude. He's dying today. I'm gonna grab the bars again. Here we go. And there it is. You can also, again, collect more bars, if that doesn't work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find the other dude. Ooh. There it is. So that's the basic idea, guys. That took more than I expected. But yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that, and that should be the quest.